Hi, I'm Rebecca Hansen. Welcome to Maker Studio. Today we're going to be making this lovely paper flower bouquet by popular demand. You all love paper flowers. I love paper flowers. What's not to love about paper flowers? So we're going to take the step by step and teach you how to make two different types of flowers that are really simple um, and just use a few easy techniques um, to get the finished look. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this bouquet is made completely out of cardstock, which is great because it's a material that most of us have already at home. So each of these designs came from the Silhouette Design Store and are really simple to put together. So we're gonna start with this larger flower. It's kind of like a peony, I would say. So each flower will take five petal pieces and I've got them all laid out here. And what makes this flower special is the shape of the petals. So to give each petal that dimension, I'm just going to use a regular pencil. So you can see I've done this first one and basically you take the corner of the petal and just curve it in along the pencil and then you do the same thing on the other side. So you're just wrapping both sides of the petal together. And I just continue to do that for each of the four petals. And this just makes it so much more realistic looking than the flat shapes. So continue to do that for all of your pieces. I'll just show you one more time. You just gently wrap the insides together. Okay, so as soon as you've curled all of your petals, you have an option to add some dimension with acrylic paint. So you can see on this one I've done already, I just added a few lines of light pink paint. And on a few of these, I've just used like various shades and tints and tones of the same color palette we use to add some dimension. So really easy, just take some acrylic paint from your craft store I like to use my little scraper tool as a tiny little palette because it washes off really easily. And then take a paintbrush and there's no science to this. You just want to add some detail to the flowers, which again is just another way to add some dimension to each flower. And it looks really pretty when they're all together and you get all those different colors. And then once these have time to dry a little, you're going to layer them all up with your hot glue. I'm just gonna add a dot of hot glue. We'll start with the smallest and then move to the biggest. So a dot of hot glue to the center of the smallest and then you lay it so that the petals intersect. So you don't wanna lay them directly on top of each other, but kind of at a crisscross. So all the petals are showing through. And then just continue to add more layers. So again, I'm gonna crisscross them so you get the different petals all peeking through. and just press down in the middle. So you'll see, because you curled them, all of them kind of start to stick up, which is what we want to give a nice full shape. And the last one. Okay, perfect. So those are your outer petals, and now we're going to make the yellow center. So again, that takes five different pieces um, and they're just the same shape and they go down in size. So we want to curl them like these ones so that 
again, they have some dimension. And for these ones, I like to use a pair of scissors um, instead of the pencil. And it's just like curling ribbon. Um, this one you have to be a little bit careful because the shape is so delicate, but just hold firmly in the center and then gently curl the edge of each little stamen, I guess. So you're just using the sharp edge of the, sciz the scissors and pushing the paper against it. So you kind of curl the edges so they gently fold up. And then to curl it even more, I'm just going to gather them all together so that they're basically standing straight up. And they'll relax more when you glue them all together, but you want them to have a pretty curled in shape. So just like that. And you'll repeat that for the other four pieces. So once you curl all five pieces, then again, we're just gonna layer them like we did the petals. So we'll start with this little piece. I'll bring them over here. and add some hot glue and place it right in the middle. And then I just like to fold the piece around the center piece and continue. Okay, and once you have all five pieces glued together. It's really full and there's lots of layers. Looks really lush. So then we will just glue that to the center of our flower. And you can also add some paint to the center of this little guy, like right in the middle. We'll do that really quick. You could use like a lime green I did for some of them or again, just any color that you want. It's subtle, but it, it pops through, which is really nice. So then we'll add some hot glue to the base of your center and then just stick it right in the middle. And voila. So the last part before we glue on the wire stem is adding this little um, leaf detail. And this comes in the design file, so it's great and handy. You don't have to spend any extra money. Um, I like to score the middle of these leaves to, again, add some dimension. So just with my scissors, I'm just going to kind of drag a line through the center of each leaf, not going hard enough to cut through the paper, but just providing me with um, a line to fold on. And it'll fold nice and easily. So then you can glue one or two to the base of your flower. And we'll do that at the same time as we glue our wire stems. So you can see on this one that I've just created a little loop with pliers um, or your fingers or scissors or whatever you have. Um, and then it's just easier to add some hot glue to the base and secure it to your flower. So I'm just gonna do this one with my fingers. So I can just add some hot glue right there and stick it to the base. So I'll add my leaf first. And then right over it, I'll add some more glue. And just stick your wire. I you might need a little bit more. Stick your wire straight onto the flower. You can just press it on. 
and then you're good to go. So for this bouquet, I just used a variety of colors in a similar palette, shades of pinks and yellows and oranges, and made a bunch of flowers to make it look really fun and full. So you can customize this to whatever color palette you want. So that is the peony flower. And then we're gonna move on to these little white flowers. These are super simple. To me, they look like a dogwood flower, which I love. Um, the design is again from the Silhouette Design Store. And each flower is, um, it actually comes with three petals. But for this flower, I'm just gonna use two of the three. So they cut out, the shapes look like this right when they're cut out and I'm just using white cardstock. Um, and then we're going to give them some shape this time with scissors again. So just like the technique we used for the flower stamens, we're going to curl the petals. And for these flowers, they're kind of wild-like. So some of them I curl up and some of them I curl down. And it just depends on which side of the petal you are running your scissors along. So just scissor curl your petals. So you've got a variety of shapes to use. Okay, so then we'll just take two of those. It doesn't matter that they're the same or different or whatever, just two of the petal pieces and layer them again so that their petals are staggering one another and just glue them right in the center. I'll just do one more. Okay, and then the center for these flowers is really simple as well. It uses two small pieces. They're super detailed, so I would suggest using a cardstock um, that doesn't have texture to it. Like there's those linen finished cardstocks, which are really pretty and great for the petals. But for something this detailed, just try and use a smooth, um, even thinner cardstock would be great. So. All, it's got all these little um, fringed edges, and I'm just going to curl those upwards with my fingers. So just kind of push them so they're standing straight up along the sides of the circle. So that it almost looks like a little bowl. So you'll do that with the largest circle and then the slightly sm smaller circle as well. Okay, so you've got your two circles and then we're just gonna glue one directly inside of the larger one. and then take that piece and glue it to the middle of your white flowers. This um, flower template is also the same one that we use to make the shrink plastic flower earrings. So it's just another way to use this same design template. More bang for your buck. Okay, just like that. I love the way this flower looks. It's like so simple and delicate. So I've done that for three of them here, as you can see. And we're just going to do the same technique to glue the wire um, onto the flower as we did with the other one. So we can probably cut this wire in half. And then Make a little loop at the top and add some glue. 
and glue to the base of your flower. And with your floral tape, just kind of stretch it as you wrap, because that will activate the adhesive. And I'll just go all the way down. Okay, so now you've got your little white flowers and your peony. So the last thing, I'll put this one right here, is the leaves. So you can see in this bouquet that we've got the white flowers, the peonies, and then the last is the little leaf boughs to kind of act as a filler. So for the leaves, I cut out this simple leaf shape um, in Silhouette Studio, and then again scored them with my scissors by just dragging my scissors straight down the leaf which allowed me to fold it really easily so just cut out a bunch of different leaves and then just stagger them along your piece of wire with hot glue so we'll do one really quick so you can see the leaves are like the easiest part. So I'll just add a dot of glue to the base of this leaf. Actually I could do, since this is the first leaf, I'm going to stick the wire all along the vein. Five to seven leaves um, per wire, just so you can have some variation. You can do more or less, obviously. Okay, so there is your leaf bow. Really simple. Um, once all the leaves um, have set with the hot glue, you can bend your wire to give it some more shape and then place it in your bouquet. So to put all of your components together, just bring this to the front. Um, for this bouquet, I used I think I made seven poppies in the various shades. And then I have like 15 white blossoms and like seven leaf boughs. So it's really simple to put together. Um, I have a little piece of green craft foam in the base of my vase, just so I can place the wire stems exactly where I want and they won't move around, which is really handy. Um, so then you can just go in and start arranging your elements. And you can always cut your wire stems shorter to accommodate all the different layers. Um, I like to do that quite a bit. So if you want to make this project, which I really hope you do because it's the perfect paper flower project to start with, we have all the design files and step-by-step -step instructions on silhouette101.com. And I really hope you give it a try. And if you do, please share your photos with us and your feedback, and we will see you soon.